Hey guys, this is the next video in my Adobe Captivate 2019 Update 2 series and today we're going to be talking about probably what at first might seem like, nah, no big deal, it's not a big deal of a feature, but as you start to think about it and think about your workflows that would normally involve um, using images as buttons, I think you'll realize that this is actually a really big deal. So let's take a look at my screen here. I've added an image to this slide. It's just my, my brand logo, CaptivateTeacher.com here. And what's great is that in the past, if I wanted to use this as a hyperlink, I would either have to place a click box over top, which is, of course, as you know, uh, impossible with regular fluid boxes, uh, or I would actually have to bring it in as a smart shape and use uh, an image fill to create an image that could be used as a button. But now, of course, I can just select the image and check use as button. And then, of course, I'll have the actions tab within my properties inspector. And I can have the clicking of this image do just about anything. I could do something like this where I simply open a URL to um, my website, captivateteacher.com and set that up to open in a new window and I could uncheck continue playing the project so that the project stays uh, paused in the background while the user visits my website and then of course they can return to the project when they're ready to go. Now images as buttons are, are great it really makes that workflow a lot quicker and very efficient. It can be used for a wide variety of different formats obviously the all the obvious things like JPEG PNG, uh, PICT, all, all that stuff. Everything that you can basically put in Adobe Captivate as an image can be used as a button. One of the other bonuses, of course, is with uh, SVGs. So in the past, if you wanted to use SVGs as buttons, again, you'd have to use like a click box over top of it. Now, of course, I can just select uh, any SVG. Here's an example of an SVG I've added, and I can select Use as Button. And, of course, this gives me the Actions tab to go to the next slide or whatever it is that I want that button to do. But there's a bonus feature with SVG, and that's the ability to fill different sections of the SVG. This is a very simple SVG, but if I don't like the black color that this currently is by default, I can click on Fill SVG. I can select which part of the SVG. In this case here, it's going to be the black area. Then go back to my fill pattern, and I can select any color that I wish. So I could choose, say, a light blue instead of that black. So it gives it more of, a, of an image uh, or appearance that's in keeping with this particular design. Let's go a look at another example here. So uh, here we have a simple knowledge check slide and I've got a transparent shape over here that's set up to provide, depending on which state is showing, uh, feedback over the selections that were made. So if you select the queen, that's the correct answer here. Uh, if you choose Justin Trudeau, it gives you an explanation there. And of course, our governor general uh, Julie Payette uh, is here as well. So how do I set this up? Well, I can of course select uh, these images here. Uh, let me just select them all at the same time. And then I can use the use as button checkbox in my properties inspector. And now they're all set up as buttons, even though they're images. And what's great is of course I can now select the queen and go to the Actions tab, and we can do a very simple knowledge check here where we simply change the state of our smart shape over here to one of those four different states. I can uncheck Continue Playing the Project to keep the user on this slide. We'll do the same thing with Justin Trudeau here. We'll change that to Change State of Smart Shape 1, and we'll change it to Justin here uncheck continue playing the project and same thing for um, the governor general here so we'll just change the state of smart shape one to pay it and there we go so this will now work quite nicely let's bring that to the top and we'll do a preview of this project 
So here we go. Uh, here's our knowledge check. Which person is Canada's head of state? Uh, let's say we get it wrong. We check uh, Julie Payette. We get the explanation there. Uh, totally works as a button. Let's try again. Correct. Queen Elizabeth II is the head of state of Canada. And of course, I can continue with the rest of my project now. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.